MQL, or minimum quantity lubrication, can help increase your productivity, tool life, and surface finish. In this quick video, we'll cover a few details to make your MQL work harder for you. MQL, also known as Near Dry Machining, or NDM, gets its name from the small amount of lubrication used for cutting. This is dramatically different from messy flood coolants used in many metal cutting applications. MQL can reduce your cutting fluid costs and it is better for the environment. MQL generally uses vegetable oil with additives turned into a microscopic mist or aerosol by the MQL system. Adjusting the aerosol can be a bit confusing at first. A common mistake is to assume that more is better. Not only is this not true, but too much oil can actually be destructive to your cutters. Here we have an AccuLube system from ITW Rokal one of several manufacturers around the world offering MQL. Virtually all MQL systems have the same adjustments and controls. Key components are the reservoir for lubricant, the filter regulator unit for incoming air, the frequency generator, air flow valve, and lubricant flow adjustment. The hose and nozzle keep the air and oil separate until just before the oil is atomized at the nozzle's tip. Efficient operation requires about 80 to 150 psi incoming line pressure. First, adjust the airflow for each nozzle. This adjustment does not influence the amount of fluid that will be used. Now adjust the frequency generator. For CNC milling, we normally set this around 2 to 4 second cycles, providing 15 to 30 strokes per minute. We'll set this one up to about 2 seconds per cycle. Now we'll adjust the oil flow. Each system has its own method for adjusting the oil flow. On this AccuLube system, the manufacturer recommends closing the valve completely, then turning counterclockwise past the zero to about six. In use, I've found that this system does the best job set around two. I mentioned earlier that too much lubricant can be bad. Here's why. First, it's messy and wasteful. Second, the pooling of lubricant can shock your cutting edges, causing microscopic fractures that dramatically reduce your cutter life. This is because of the extreme heat localized right at the cutting edge. MQL's True Aerosol has proven to be a terrific benefit, yet even a small pool of oil can quickly ruin the best of cutters. Successful MQL relies on using as little oil as possible to provide the cutter lubrication you need. If you're wondering how to see if your system is metered properly, here's how I test it. With your machine spindle turned off, aim your nozzle or nozzles at the cutter and turn on your MQL. Firmly support a piece of paper at the cutter opposite the spray nozzles. After about one minute, you should see your mist pattern on the paper leaving its mark about the size of a quarter, 
with no blotches or blobs of oil. Properly adjusted, your work area will be easy to clean up and you'll use little oil, saving you money and saving our environment. Here are a few more tips to help you make efficient use of MQL. MQL works best when the nozzle is fairly close to the cutting edges, so aim your nozzles carefully. Through spindle MQL is available on some machines, though it can be costly. Operation is cleaner and more efficient than normal flood type through spindle coolant. Simple systems like we have shown can still provide all or most of the benefit at a much lower cost. For automatic unattended operation, your nozzles may interfere with tool changes. Using similar length tools can help and aiming carefully can facilitate effective tool changes with the full benefits of MQL. Programmable nozzles are also available. Let's wrap this up with a few quick troubleshooting tips. First, always be careful to keep your fluid clean. The smallest contamination can stop your unit from working properly. Use only fluid recommended for MQL. The wrong fluids won't have the same effect for cooling or lubrication and may clog your unit over time, rendering it inoperative. If you're having trouble adjusting the unit for proper fluid metering, check the tubes at the nozzle. MQL works best when the aerosol is created just before the nozzle. If the inner hose is too close or too far away from the nozzle, it may become impossible to adjust the unit properly. Last, maintain your hoses. Inevitably, the nozzle or hose may get caught in a tool change or damaged by a cutter. There is a neat connector made for repairing hoses so you don't need to replace an entire hose assembly. When using it, be sure you connect the inner hoses securely to ensure that the lubricant is converted to aerosol at the last possible moment as we showed earlier. Thanks for watching. We hope this helps you and your company get more productivity, better parts, and longer tool life with MQL.